Hi, I'm Matt from edgecraft.org. I'm the Minecraft mod making class instructor and the curriculum writer. And today we are going to learn how to make customized armor out of your own armor material. So we learned how to make your own material that you could use to make tools. Not your own custom tools, but to add that material to regular tools because a lot of what regulates how well and what how well tools work and how well things work in Minecraft is the material it's made out of. So generally the best way to make your own tools is to just make your own material and then create a, a shovel or a hoe or a, a pickaxe that uses that material. and. Um, that is doubly true for armor. Most of what makes armor what it is comes almost entirely from the material that it's made out of rather than specific settings that you put in each component of your armor. So first things first is we're going to talk about how to make your own armor material. Now I know what you're thinking, I already made a material and I want this to be the same material. Okay. The game sees armor materials and tool materials as two different things, even if in your mind you consider them the, them the same thing. So what you'll do is you'll use a system of just making recipes and ore and everything that the game will see as separate things that you um, create an experience for the player as if they are the same thing. So like, okay, you'll have this material and then you'll create, you eventually will create ore that makes that material that you smelt into ingots and that in the recipes to create this armor and these tools, you will use those ingots to make them in the game. There's no idea that there's a consistent material behind it, but the player experiences it as if there is. So don't worry, you'll get that. Just bear with me and make a separate tool material. We'll still call it the same name so that uh, you can keep track of it pretty easily. So here we go. Okay, so again, just like with pretty much all items and all things we're making in this game, uh, we'll go to your init package and then click on mod items and you're going to create, guess what, a variable, an a, a item variable. And so you're going to be in mod items, you're going to find this squiggly, you're going to scroll down, be above init. It doesn't matter if you have all this stuff in here or not, that's perfectly okay. As long as what you do now is in between, is below this squiggly, and above public static void in it. So I'm going to start a new line, and just like all this stuff we've been doing here, public static, and now we go to final, and in this case it's not item dot tool material, it's item armor capital I capital A dot armor material. Okay, and. That's the kind of variable that we're telling the game we're created. And in this case, we're going to create a thing called unobtainium armor. So unobtainium, because last time we made the unobtainium tool material, so we're going to make unobtainium armor. So to distinguish it, I'll call it unobtainium underscore armor, because you don't want variables with the same name. That's, that's bad news. And so in this case, we're going to use our enum helper again. Only well, instead of add tool material, we're going to add armor material. Okay, and uh, I'm going to just put in my semicolon at the end of the line right now because I tend to forget that. And look, you'll see that the X changed from a, oh no, we can't do that X to a, well, it looks like you're missing something X. So yeah, put in your semicolon right there. So now we're going to give it its name, and uh, this time we're going to give it, uh, I'm going to call it in parentheses, well, what else but unobtainium armor. I like to name it the way you would name other things without the underscores. So um, just the first word, everything starts in lowercase, um, but the next word is uppercase uh, instead of using the underscore system. And we're also going to tell it what our textures name is going to be. And in this case, the name is going to start out with what our mod ID is. So you, you, if you remember from your reference class, you, you named your mod. And to be honest, you can change this whenever you want. Uh, as long as you're using mod ID as a variable, everywhere where you call my mod, it's going to 
update when you change this reference class. You ever wonder why we created this reference class instead of just typing my mod in and everything? Because at some point you're probably going to decide that you don't want to call your mod my mod anymore. You want to call it unobtaining armor mod or uh, doge material mod or something like that. Uh, in which case, feel free to change this once you make that decision and it'll update elsewhere. That's the beauty of variables. They change. Uh, and so what we do is let's go back here um, and so and that's why instead of actually typing our mod ID as a string we type reference we call our reference class with a capital R we type dot mod underscore underscore ID which is our constant that we define in the reference class as what the name of your mod ID is um, and then what we do is we have a plus sign and what this does is it's okay the information stored in mod ID is a string take that but then add to it this other stuff to make a new string so we add in quotes the colon because that's how the game's trained to find the um, texture file then we add plus and then we give it the file name the file name that we are going to call our texture so our texture file I'm going to call unobtainium armor tex. Tex is short for texture. Yeehaw, buckaroo. All right, next up we have how durable your armor is. Uh, this is a integer, so there will be no decimals or Fs. And if you want to know a, a powerful one, diamond is set at 33. This is unobtainium. So I think it should be a little stronger than diamond because we go light years away to another planet to get it. So I'm going to give it the um, durability of 100. So this is how many hits you can take before you get your armor breaks. Okay, next up, we're going to have how much damage your armor resists. Okay, so when you get hit in a different part of your body, leg, chest, arms, head um, your armor protects you a little bit it subtracts from the damage you take so oftentimes you'll still notice you'll take a little damage when you wear armor um, but you'll take less damage than you would have and here's the thing it can be different for head chest legs or boots okay so if so what you do is you create a, uh, a list here of integers that stores the different parts of your body so you're going to type new int and so you have a new list of integers which is what that means and that these brackets mean okay this is going to be a list and now we do curly brackets to set the contents of that list and the first number is how much your head is protected so i'm going to say your head is protected you lose 12 or there's 12 damage that you don't receive when you get hit in the head wearing this armor there is 15 damage you don't receive when you get hit in the chest with this armor. There is 10 damage you don't receive when you get hit in the legs, and 10 damage you don't receive when you get hit in the boots. Okay, so you actually set the different um, parts of your body and how well protected you are. And uh, like damage works, these are um, half hearts. So if something would have taken away uh, seven hearts, with a 12 here that means there's 12 half hearts you don't lose so six hearts you don't lose so if you get hit by something that takes away seven hearts you only lose one heart in the head if that's hard for you just add high numbers here all right the enchantability of your armor um, gold is 25 and gold tends to be one of the most enchantable items in the game so an obtainium is it's pretty enchantable, but maybe not as good as gold since it's actually pretty useful. So I'm going to say 15. Gold is 25. All right. When you equip it, it makes a sound. And the game has sounds in it. I honestly don't recommend playing with game sounds. There's enough sounds in the game. Um, and so what do you want this armor to sound like when, you know, it does stuff? You'll type sound events dot item underscore armor and that's in all caps the item underscore armor is in all caps and then you can pick what you want it to sound like i think unobtainium let's make it sound generic i'm going to go with 
Nah, I'm not going to go there. I'm going to go with diamond. Okay. Oops. Let's go back out there. And next up is how tough the armor is. So how well does it handle itself? How tough is, is it before it breaks? This is stored as a float. Diamond, I think, is like 2.0. Uh, so two is pretty tough. Um, like I said, this is unobtainium. It's pretty hard to get, so we'll make it 3.0F. It's That is some tough stuff. So that is our material that our armor is made out of, and that stores a lot of information about how your armor works. Um, if you have the files that you got from our summer camps, um, you already have this armor material name in here with all these comments that explain what everything is. Um, the, remember, just adding new lines doesn't mean anything. The semicolon is where the line ends, so just the fact that I hit enter here, just I did it to make it easier for you to read, and then there's comments that explain what everything is. So honestly, you could just copy this, paste it, and change the values to make it whatever the heck you want without even thinking too much about typing everything is. So go nuts if that's what you want to do. Okay, so that's how we get our our new material for our armor. Okay, so we have our armor material. So uh, what about the actual helmet, chest plate, leggings, and boots that are going to actually exist in the game? So, you know, material is back-end stuff. The player doesn't necessarily see these material calculations. And our, our mods are a little incomplete if we don't give the player something to actually wear. So now I'm going to show you how to actually make the pieces of armor. And um, it's going to be a little bit weird, so bear with me. It's not going to make any complete sense until I go over how to do armor textures in the next video. So in the meantime, we're going to do the, the different pieces of armor for now. So here we go. All right, so we're back in our mod items class and our in it for initialization um, package. And uh, we have our material item, or our material, our armor material made. And if you'll notice, the armor material really stores most of the information that's going to cover what our armor is and what it does. So all we really need to do is create the items that fit into different parts of the player. Um, so uh, you're going to have to create some item classes for the, the helmet, the chest plate, the leggings, and the boots. And so I have a space, I mean, it goes where all the uh, um, item uh, variables go. So below this squiggly line and above public static void in it. So you can really put it anywhere. I have a little commented section where I have my armor items and I've already made some armor for my mod. Uh, and so I'm gonna just start creating some new items for the armor. Um, and then below we're going to associate it with this material. So public static item uh, unobtainium underscore helmet. Public static item unobtainium underscore, no, underscore chest plate. Public static item unobtainium underscore leggings. Public static item unobtainium underscore boots. Okay, so I've created item variables for each component of my new armor. Now I'm going to go into this init method and I'm going to associate them with the, I'm going to call these armor classes with the armor material. And so um, all of our armor is going to come from a new class, actually. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to type unobtainium underscore helmet equals new item unobtainium armor um, and then I'm going to give it its own um, it's, I'm going to uh, give it the item name so I'm just going to call it the um, unobtainium oh sorry I'm going to call it what I called my material, unobtainium armor. There we go, that's what it is. Unobtainium underscore armor. And then I'm going to type one. Now what that does is it tells you what layer 
that your uh, armor texture file is going to fit on because uh, texture files um, get put out in layers since the texture files themselves are two-dimensional and Minecraft is a 3D world um, it has to layer the texture files all of the uh, armor except for the leggings are in layer one and the, the leggings are in layer two you'll notice up here one two one and then one for the helmet all right so next I tell the game where this armor gets equipped so I type entity equipment slot dot and it being a helmet I think it should go on my head what do you say let's do it my head all right and then I'm going to type dot set unlocalized name and that's the variable name so in my string so between quotes I type unobtainium underscore helmet and then I'm going to type dot set registry name if you don't do this the game will crash and in quotes because it's a string I'll type item unobtainium helmet and I end with a semicolon alright you can this the method for the rest of the armor is pretty much the same thing so I'm gonna copy this line and I'm gonna just paste 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 I'm gonna change helmet here to chest plate and chest plate actually goes on the chest and unobtainium chest plate unobtainium chest plate all right I'm gonna make the next one leggings leggings not leggings there we go and leggings don't go on your head they go on your legs Unobtainium leggings. leggings and oh wait and because these are the leggings I'm gonna change its layer to two so be sure to remember that part all right and then unobtainium boots uh, that's still layer one. Boots don't go on your head though. Boots go on your feet. Where do you got your shoes? You got your shoes on your feet. All right. Unobtainium boots. Item unobtainium boots. All right. So you'll notice there's a little alert right here. I bet you can guess why. I don't have a class item unobtainium armor yet. Uh, so before I do that, I think I'm going to just take care of this game registry and register render stuff. You know how to do this. You've, you've done it a million times before. In fact, I'm just going to copy this last one, press enter, and paste. One, two, three, four. And unobtainium helmet, unobtainium chest plate, unobtainium leggings, and unobtainium boots and then I'm gonna do the same thing in the register render copy that line one two three four unobtainium helmet unobtainium chest plate unobtainium leggings and unobtainium boots now I'm going to take care of this whole oh there's no class called unobtainium Oh, I don't want obtainium armor mat. So I'm going to click on there. I'm going to click on create class. I don't want it in the init package. I want it in the item classes package. I'm going to click on OK. And now I already have an example of how to do this with my item material armor class up here. So notice how it has to extend item armor because that's the class we get things from. And really, I just do what's called creating a constructor class. All of this stuff is taken care of um, in, in mod items. When I call the armor, I establish what material it's made out of. I give it the render index. That's the one or the two. Um, I give it the, where it goes, the equipment slot, head, chest, um, legs, feet. And so that's taken care of. The only thing left to do is set it in creative tabs. As armor, it's combat.
So let's try that out now. Adam extends item armor. And oh, look at this alert thing. I bet it's going to help me create a constructor. Well, first I got to import it. And now it's going to help me create a constructor. Ah, so beautiful. OK, and then I'm going to just type set creative tabs. That semicolon right there for the end already. Creative tab dot. Oops. Set creative tab singular. Set creative tabs. There we go. Dot combat. Okay. So let's compare. Yeah, it looks good to me. All right. So now we should be ready to run the game and see the armor in the game. Now there's no textures loaded yet, so it'll be ugly, but it'll be in the creative tabs and we'll be able to put it on and wear it despite it being purple and black. And whoops, uh, had errors in the project and I thought, what errors? There shouldn't be errors. I made a relatively consistent typo. Instead of typing set unlocalized named, I said set unolocalized name. So I gotta fix that here. Watch out for typos, man. Okay, and now, now I should be able to run it. Okay, so loading the game, I'm back in the game. You're in creative mode, so you have access to all your inventory. And going to combat, I'm gonna scroll down until I see the famous purple and black checkers. And ah, uh, yeah, that's good stuff. So in order. When, your when things appear in your inventory, those count as items. So you're gonna do, you can do texture files for your armor the exact same way for it appearing in the inventory, not on your body, but in your inventory. You do texture files for your armor the exact same way you do texture files for everything else. You treat it like an item and you put it in your inventory. I've already done some other items and material stuff. I just made my 16 by 16 PNG and got that all ready. Um, and so right now, I have my boots, my leggings, my helmet, and my chest plate. And I'm going to put those in my action thing, and I'm going to go to survival inventory. I'm going to actually put on my armor, and you're going to see how terrible it looks. So boots go into boots, and I set that in my code. Leggings go into leggings, which I set on my code. Helmet goes into helmet. And chest plate goes into chest plate. And look at that. I am a weird blobby thing. Isn't she beautiful? Yeah, I'm gross. So, but the point is the armor is working. It's on my body. And all of its effects will take place. It just isn't yet, which is the next step. Alright, so you've got functioning armor in the game, but it looks terrible. Um, and so next time, well, I mean, you know how to make it look great in your inventory. You treat it like an item, uh, but we need to learn how to make it look good when you're wearing it in the game. And so that's going to be a little bit different than other textures you've done in the game for both blocks and for items. And so we're going to see what that looks like next time. Um, so get ready for that.